Thursday, April the 6th, I believe. Yes, it is 7.40 a.m. And we are, we've got Walmart Spark running. And we've turned down every offer that they have given us. Because they're terrible. Um, big miles, very little pay. I mean... Yeah, no, these people are ridiculous. Yeah, no. Don't think so. 650 no tip and you live in a second floor apartment? No, thank you. So, we'll see. I guess if we don't get something by 8 o'clock, we'll turn the food delivery apps back on and see if we can catch some um, deliveries before the next round of spark offers come but it is flipping cold this morning it's 34 degrees clear skies hopefully we won't have wind or definitely not like a couple days ago where the wind was so bad and you couldn't see anything for all the dirt and dust in the air so, all right, I will we'll let you know if we get an offer that's worth taking. We'll see you soon. Okay, guys, well, we took an offer on Walmart's part. It's like $17.58 for, uh, I think, four miles or something. Not, I mean, the miles are low. One of the items is a big tote and it should fit in my back seat um these people don't know how to drive they're all black all over the flipping road really people so we are headed there now it said it's 748 and it was an asap it says pick up by 750 so i don't know this is just craziness but we're gonna get it picked up go get it dropped off at least it's not too far from the store that way we can get either either another order which we'll probably be able to pick up one for 845 and then maybe we can do a couple DoorDash orders um, or something in between so there you have it we're off to Walmart all right well it's 802 we got our two orders loaded and we'll see how this goes the first one got some weird directions because apparently their apartments in the rear of the house and it's like don't leave at the front at my neighbor's front door or their back door. Turn right onto West Amarillo Boulevard. So leave under the carport. So hopefully, oh, I don't like these rear entrance in through the alley um, drop offs because they're just really, really confusing. So that's okay. We'll get there and get these dropped off and we will see you back soon. Well, that took about 20 minutes and that's with having to call support because the sticker that I had for the first drop off was not the one that it recognized in the system. So I had to call support so they could give me the correct code to enter for the bar code sticker. So, got that done, got to the next customer and dropped it off. So, now we are waiting. We had one offer, but I don't really want to go to an assisted living um, facility today. So, instead, we're going to wait. But that's okay. I'm sure we will get other offers. And if not, we will go to DoorDash. In fact, we probably should try to DoorDash right now. So, we'll see. I think I need, earlier I said I thought I needed 20. I'm still, we still need about mm, maybe 18 um, DoorDash offers to get the contract violations off of our screen. 
So I'll be working on that today and tomorrow or Saturday. Okay guys, so we got a like $13 shopping line. order from Walmart Spark and we've already shopped it and we're on our way to go Proceed deliver to it. And the funny, feet, the funny thing is, so it was for packages of whole avocados, which is like, it says three to four avocados in each package. Turn right onto West Amarillo Boulevard. They wanted 10 packages. So I don't know if they were thinking they were getting like 10 avocados or if past this light, then use the left lane to they're the gonna get they're gonna get like 40 plus avocados so Fair that's left. oh well somebody's gonna have some good guacamole or something in 1.1 miles so left onto planes below. all right well we'll get this dropped off and see what we can get to decline to decent um grubhub offers the last one i just didn't want to drive out there to the air force base again so but i guess if we get another good one like that we'll just have to take it so we'll see you here shortly hello well we are back again we got a grubhub offer for nine dollars and something um just a few miles probably not even well it might be a few more than I would normally agree but it's one of those things we're halfway across town from the pickup but the drop-off is like within a mile or two probably a mile and a half of where we're picking up so I think it'll be okay um, hopefully I don't even I kind of have an idea of where it's going it's going right up the street so I'm hoping it's not that crazy apartment complex but I guess if it is, we'll just deal with it. So, but we're on our way to go pick up some water burger. I'll see you in a minute. Well, we got that water burger picked up. We're on our way to go drop it off. And then we got a another order pickup at Walmart, at a different Walmart that's closer to where we are right now. And it's all smoky it smells like a fire or something out there so we're gonna go drop this one off we'll probably pause the food apps and go sit and wait for um, 9 45 to go pick this one up it shouldn't take us very long because they're not too terribly Stay far the line, from the Walmart so we should be able to get those two dropped off and then back on the food apps again so let's see how it goes. We'll see you. I should be able to take you to the drop off. Oh. Hello. Hello, there you Thank go. You. You're welcome. Have a good day. There you go. These people contact the blah blah blah. And they're at the door. Really? Some people, I love how they want contactless and they show up at the door, so. Oh well, all right, we are on our way to go sit at Walmart because I, I mean, we still have 20 minutes. So, I mean, technically, I guess we could get another order, but it also would depend on where it's gonna go. Because Grubhub is notorious for sending you all over the place and DoorDash is usually good about keeping you somewhat lo centrally located close to where your pickup is not always oh man so we will go sit at Walmart for about 20 minutes or so and go pick this order up. It's a $15 order. Whoa. And so 
it's like it's nine dollars and then a six dollar tip but it is two orders so two drop offs and we will see you in a little bit hey guys so this is our walmart order so it is two point two orders for fifteen dollars and it's 2.9 miles so we're just waiting for one more minute for it to let us start the trip keeps telling me that we're too early so it's kind of dumb but that's okay we got like one minute for it to oh now it let us do it so we are in space number 10. so there we go now we just have to wait for them to come get our driver code number and load us up and we'll go get these orders done so i want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel um i just can't i don't know it's just crazy to me but i really appreciate it and hopefully you're enjoying the content and if you have any questions or suggestions that would be great i'd love to hear from you and we're just you know following our day or evenings in it's not a small town but it's not a big city either I mean, Amarillo is continuing to grow, but I wouldn't say it's a small town because we, I mean, the problem is, is that you get sent out of the zone all the time. And if you use Grubhub, you usually get really good um, payouts, even if you're going farther away, but not so much if you use... Um, Uber Eats or DoorDash. We're going to try to do DoorDash here in a bit and see if we can bump our acceptance rate up because we're down to 50%. So I will check back with you in a bit. Well, I've got those picked up and both of them dropped off way before time. It's, not, it's just now 9.59 and the last drop off was scheduled for 10.08. So for once, we didn't have a crazy time trying to deliver stuff. They were really close together and very easy. So that was just an easy $16 or $15. So now we're gonna wait and see. I've got Grubhub turned back on and we see we have a block at 11:30 with DoorDash so hopefully hopefully we can get some DoorDash guys we're back it's about 10:11 it was about 10 or 11 minutes um, before we ever got another order we got a Grubhub pickup and of course I mean that's I was headed in that direction so it worked out good for us to go pick this one up and it was like 10 something 10 and change for like 12 miles but part of it is because we were not anywhere really near we were probably five miles from the restaurant so or the acai bar so we are going to go pick up an order there go get it delivered we have not seen any more walmart smart spark since that last drop off that's okay we will hopefully be able to catch some more it shows that it kind of drops off on the matrix and then it'll pick back up this afternoon around looks like 12 1 o'clock it'll it should pick back up so we should be able to get some more sometime in like after the lunch rush, which will be good because I would like to have at least another couple hundred dollars um, banked next week before we go on our trip. So 
that's where that is. We will go get this picked up and we will see you shortly. to pick up for some Thank you, I appreciate it. Welcome, have a good day. Thank you. Okay, now that we got that one dropped off and then I jumped back on DoorDash to see and they say it should be busy at 11. So we had originally got a time at 11.30 and I got to add to it on DoorDash to where we start at 11 versus starting at 11.30. So we have I think 11 to 12.30. Oh, and now it says we can dash now. So let's let's see what Mr. DoorDash is going to bring to us today. I'm not really sure, but we're going to find out. So where is that? I don't know where that is. We'll just go that way. Because we really need to try to dash and get our numbers up and try to get about 20 more trips under our belt to get rid of our contract violations that we didn't do anything. It wasn't even our fault. Either one of them. So, alright, let's see what we can do. Okay guys, we got our first order from DoorDash. It's a 725 guarantee. So, I guess we're going to take it. okay y'all so we got that picked up i didn't take you in because usually they're like never on time never ready but what the heck can we not put it straight up and down so it would be like a whole lot easier to deal with but apparently not so we're fixing to go deliver this and see so all right, we're headed to the drop-off, and we will see you shortly after that.
to the room. Okay, so we went and picked this water burger up, and then I was trying to figure out the dash situation, make sure that we still have plenty of time to unpause it. Because this is actually, someone ordered this for someone else that's at a school. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's just a little crazy, but I got it picked up. And I was going to go to the bathroom at Whataburger, but they have their bathrooms under a cipher lock. So, forget that idea. We'll go take care of this. We may have to pause everything so we can go potty. And then we will get back at it. So, hope you're enjoying my videos. Um, you know, I'm just vlogging my days. Um, doing delivery. And I want to thank everyone that has subscribed. And I just I really appreciate it. And hope everyone's having a great day. That was a big pain in the butt. Because no idea where to take it I'm assuming the person is a high school student um, then of course with all the situations with schools these days they have all the doors locked and there's like a little box on the wall kind of out of the way blends in with the brick wall so I happen to drive down to the other end of the school and there was a lady that worked there and she told me what where I needed to be and that there was a little box on the wall and that push that and they'll let you in so that took way longer than it should have taken and of course with DoorDash we are out of the zone and we're at 49% acceptance rate because they were trying to send me to crummy Walgreens to deliver to a yiki part of town that I don't want to go even in the daylight I just didn't want to go there I was trying to get back to the restaurants and so we did that and that's why we got a Grubhub order and so now we get to wait till we get back in the zone to get some more orders and we're gonna have to stop and find the bathroom because I have had a big thing of coffee and drank about half my tea so that's where we are right now so as soon as we get something else I will check back with you all right so we just declined another DoorDash order and then they sent me a one stop, two drop offs, nine dollars for like 16 miles. No, thank you. And now the app is stuck again. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you have a new order. No, I don't have anything. It still says return to dash. So is anybody else having problems with DoorDash in their app? It's all it's done today since that first pickup. Ever since then, it has been jacked up. We won't send you because you ignored us. Well, I wasn't ignoring you. Your app is jacked up. So, but no, neither one of those were good. So, we're not. So now we're at like 48%. So, I mean, I can't help it. Send me trash. I don't, I'm not going to take it. Someone else can do that crap. Not me. I'm here to make money, not just spend money on gas driving 15, 20 miles to take you your food when probably one of those is a no tip. I mean, or they, they could both be, you know, a tip. I mean, that's ridiculous. Why? Why, why, why? So, I don't know what to do. I mean, all it's doing is causing me 
to have a lower acceptance rate than I already have. I mean, that's ridiculous. But, I mean, people would rather go, see, I would rather go probably do this. Eh, not really. But, we're going to take it. Because at least their app works. So, it was an $8 and something for Chipotle on Grubhub. Well, we had a stupid service truck just pull in front of us. And, before I could pause DoorDash, they sent me two more orders. So, now we're like 46%. Irritating. Jack wagons. So... That's all right. We'll get this Chipotle picked up, and we will go get it delivered. So, I will calm down now. go into Chipotle and yes I had a Chipotle pickup but it was six dollars and something and they're so far behind in there it's not worth my time to wait for however long that was gonna be because there was a bunch of people in there so I put that there was a long line and I was not gonna wait so I rejected the that offer and then DoorDash came through with an offer for Panda Express. So you saw me go pick up, which it was actually ready. And there was a poor guy in there waiting for um, his order to be ready. So now we're going to go take this Panda Express to the customer who was gracious enough to tip very well because this is a $9.25 order which rarely ever happens in my market with DoorDash. So now that we're about 45% acceptance rate, I'm not sure. Now we're back over by the good restaurants, the better part of town because the other side, if you go to the east side of town, those people don't tip, so the t orders are horrible. And then the last two that they offered me were but two pickups and two drop-offs for like nothing. And they're going a lot of miles. So sorry, I am not gonna do that. So yes i at times cherry pick my orders but that is my prerogative and if you want to take every two dollar and fifty cent order that you know that they're not going to tip be my guest it's not worth it when gas is 309 315 um you know when gas was 278 then yeah I could do that too but not today not in today's market I can't afford to 
pay for my gas and the upkeep of my car when you're paying letting DoorDash pay $250 and you don't pay anything. So, you know, if you can't afford a tip, then guess what? Go pick it up yourself. It's just like if you go to a restaurant and sit down to eat. If you can't afford a tip, don't go. Because your server is working for tips. And if you don't tip, they can't pay their light bill. Or they can't pay their rent. So, that is my two cents on tipping. So, alright, we're going to go get this dropped off and we will be back in a little bit. Okay, I did not change the battery, so you may, I don't know how long it'll last, but I wanted you to see some of these houses that we passed on the way. and we just got the Walmart Sparks dropped off we've got a Grubhub order that we've got to go get dropped off and the traffic is all of a sudden just horrendous and then we got to get all the way back over here which is another 10 minute drive to the Walmart on Coulter to pick up an order in 25 minutes so we will see if we can actually pull this off. I mean, we won't be late, but whew, come on, come on, come on, folks. But a mile. Turn right onto we, have, front we should be able to make it, but when you just pull out in front of me like that, appreciate it, Jack Wagon. Oh, people today. So, it has, traffic has not been bad until like the last 30 minutes. Um, I guess, I don't know what's going on, but people are all over, everywhere, pulling out in front of people, and just being stupid. So, that's where that is. But we're fixing, we just got a sushi order, so we're fixing to go drop that off. It looks like it's going to a convenience store. And then we'll get back over here to Walmart and get that picked up and get those dropped off. It says it's 7.9 miles, but I don't think so. I think that's like way wrong because one of them is south, like outside of the loop of Amarillo that goes around. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's more than 7 miles. Point nine miles but that's okay I think it was 20 something dollars like 23 and change so it'll be okay turn right we'll, onto West Interstate 40 frontage road and keep we'll get these this dropped off those picked up and I want to try to get home by 4 15 or so so I can chat with hubby and have some dinner that way we can he can go to work and I can come back out and do another round of dashing maybe we can actually do some door dashing we've got two I think we have 16 more deliveries till we can get till that those contract violations will go away so we are slowly working on that the issue with that is that they keep sending us bad orders and I'm sorry but I'm not going to deliver your stuff for two dollars and fifty cents no so of course now we're down to like 45 percent um, acceptance rate 
making it in they're not making it easy that's for sure so we'll see um may well i don't know if i will depends on how busy it gets tonight um if we video record anything or just every like hour or so to do a check-in tomorrow morning I have to go meet my son at his place so that he can follow me in the truck to Vernon to go drop it off for some warranty work that I've been waiting almost a year for because the dealership here in town I have been on their waiting list since before June they have never called me I continue to call them and ask questions and I think the last time they told me oh well you'll just have to get on the list again I was like well then put me on the list and guess what still I've already had it my truck in Vernon already once for some warranty work and now it's going back for two more recalls not warranty recalls so there's two more recalls on it now one of them has been waiting for over a year but it seems I don't know I was told they only get one of those parts like I was told at one time they the dealership here only gets one a month I was told by the dealership in Vernon that they get one like once a week so we're gonna get that truck down there get the warranty work try to get it inspected so that we can get the tags and one of the what else do we have to do with that I don't know I don't think that's all so we're gonna go get this done we'll see in a bit so well we're a mile and a half from the Walmart and so we will definitely be there within the 15 minute grace period so that's perfect so we are on our way to go pick up two Walmart orders and we're going to see how many miles it really is to the drop offs from the Walmart to the first drop off to the second drop off. I want to see how many miles it actually is because it said seven, I think 7.9. So we're going to see what is it. I don't see it doesn't say on there anymore, but it did. I'm pretty, it's seven or 7.9. 7 but was less than eight, and I don't think that's right. So we're going to see if their mile meter is correct. We'll see in a few. We just sign. got that so first one dropped off, off and it shows that it is 5.2 miles to the next location. So it's not even seven miles by this calculation. So I don't know, it's kind of crazy. But that's all right. Just looked like it was. By looking at this, it's a long ways away, but it says it's only five point whatever miles. So, we're going to get this dropped off. We might be able to catch one more order. And if not, we'll just run, go ahead and run home and have some dinner with hubby. And then we'll be back at it. So, I hope everybody's having a great day. And... They are getting ready for Easter. Just a lot of fun, family filled weekend. And if not, hopefully you're out making the money. Maybe, hopefully, you're, if you're not, you're out there hustling. out what we're gonna do next thanks again for joining me hello well it's 3:45, and we got a McDonald's order to go pick up um, Grubhub has a, an incentive 
a three dollar per order until 4:45, i think but we're gonna go get this order and deliver it and then we're gonna go home and have some time with hubby and then we'll go back out probably about i don't know 4 45 4 30 five o'clock somewhere in there and we'll look at the walmart spark and see if the what the metrics looks like if, if maybe we'll um get back on there again Let's see if we can get some more a few more orders there i got a, a text message saying something about that they were having some kind of um incentive over Easter weekend it says go check your um, check in the app under incentives and I go in there and it doesn't say anything it says there's none to be so I don't know maybe it'll show up tonight tomorrow something like that I don't know so we'll see maybe we'll be able to accomplish another incentive goal with Walmart Spark and get some little bit of extra money. So, alright, well we're going to go pick this up and get it delivered and, like I said, go home and then I will um, come back out and see what we can do tonight. Hello, so it's 4.51. Hubby is off to work and I'm off to get some gas because we are under a half a tank which I try not to do because it's just feels better to fill up for 19 or 20 dollars versus 30 dollars <laughs> so we're gonna go get some gas we're gonna use the upside app um, looks like everywhere it's just one cent back so that's okay we will take advantage of that because everywhere else I can't find how much gas is at Sam's, but everywhere else is 309 or three something. So we might as well get a few cents back into our upside app and go from there. So we're gonna get some gas. And we have Walmart Spark turned on as well as Grubhub. And then I got a message from Grubhub about some driver study or something that they're going to do um, when it comes to their app and their delivery drivers. So I went ahead and signed up. It says it's a guaranteed $25 um, and I don't know I so it's a guaranteed $25 plus whatever tips you get and then what the I guess you are at some point during the 20 hours or 25 hours a week that they want you to work they will you also have to run like Uber Eats or DoorDash or something like that so that they can, I guess they're gonna do some type of comparison kind of thing so I guess we'll see how that goes hopefully we will get accepted into that program and who knows maybe make a little extra money but we're off to go get some gas and then we'll hopefully we'll get some orders because this is Thursday is the slow day so I don't know how it's going to be but we got, we've got we got to be out here because we really are only going to have probably Monday next week because Tuesday I'm going to have I need to pack I need to get my stuff together and I need to try to go get my nails done on Tuesday as well so we're gonna have one week with a one day paycheck so that's gonna be that's gonna hurt 
that's really going to hurt. So that's why I'm trying to get out here. Oops, I need to turn here. Um, that's why I'm going to try to get out here and do as much hustling as I can today and I may not tomorrow depends on the situation with getting back and what time we get back from taking the truck it's a two and a half hour drive so I'm hoping to leave here by I gotta leave my house hopefully by 7 I'm gonna be in my kiddos by 7.30 and we can get this show on the road in the morning and then we can be there. I'm hoping to be there by 10. Between 10 and 10.30. Because they have us down at 10.30. But I mean, we're just dropping it off so it's not a big deal. All right, we're fixing to get some gas. Hello. Well, we got that order picked up and delivered, and sometimes it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say hand to customer. It doesn't say contactless. So really, I don't know. So I went ahead and rang the doorbell, and um, he came to the door and got his food. Super nice man. And then he also gave me a five dollar cash tip. So it was worth <laughs> ringing the doorbell today so that's awesome so I'll have a little money to put in an envelope because we do the envelope system with our just regular job our w-2 job whatever you want to call it and what we do is so every time you get paid, so if you, so I get paid every week at my other job, my nine to five job, whatever you call. So I get paid every week, which means I get paid 52 times a year. So I have envelopes numbered one to 52. And hubby gets paid every other week, so he gets paid 26 times a year. So his envelopes are numbered one to 26. And typically, we fill those envelopes twice in a year. So whatever is on the envelope is what you put in it. So if it's a one, you put a $1. If it's 52, you put $52 in there. So, and he does the same, but his are one to 26. So typically it takes about six months to get them all done one time. So usually the first time we take that cash and go put it in our vacation fund and we use that money for vacations or, you know, whatever we need to use it for. Then when we do it again, that money we split between the two of us and that's what we spend for Christmas. Whether it's, you know, buying gifts for grandkids or kids or we usually draw names with all the adults so everybody gets at least one gift at Christmas and then we do stockings and that kind of thing so the grandkids of course are not in the name drawing for gifts just all the adult children and us which makes it kind of nice because then you can actually buy spend maybe a little bit more on a gift for one person versus having to buy gifts for 10 people plus grandkids things like that so it's not too bad it's it works for us and if you have any suggestions or let me know what you do to save money whether it's a vacation fund or any an envelope system of any kind um, just let me know I'd like to hear what I like to know what other people do to help them save money hey guys so we just accepted an order it's like 11 miles for $13.96 so do you have a like dollar per mile or two dollars a mile or a you know 
a base of five dollars what is it that is what do you where is your limit like where where is your limit that you say huh, I'm not going there I'm not taking that offer do you have a cutoff or a dollar amount that you just refuse to take unless you're trying to get your acceptance rate up I'd like to know hello so we're on another order so let me know do you want me to just do pickups and deliveries or do you want me to show you the offer Red light camera. and whether I take it or not take it let me know what you would like to see because I don't know Go past this light. you know if you like one. what you're seeing so or if you want me to do something else so these days that I do like 12 hours or whatever um, are just really long for me in the video part I mean I don't really edit my videos too much um, but if you want me to try to edit some of it to where maybe you don't want to see what all I show you um, I don't know what you want so I'd like your input and maybe I'll change it maybe I won't it's up to me it's my channel but I'm glad you're here with me hey guys we got one order dropped off another order picked up and then we got they tried to do an add-on for almost 16 miles for nine dollars and change I was like, no, Take the exit. too low Keep for the distance. That's USA ridiculous. And then they try to add on another $15 in change order. So, okay, let's say $16 for 22 miles. No, it's even farther than the first one. You people are nuts. Because, no, I'm not doing it. Because it takes me out of my area so then it's gonna be you know whatever that is 22 miles and then it's gonna take me at least 10 miles to get back into the area to the zone I think not people are crazy you know if you are that lazy and you can't go drive to go pick up your own order I'm not gonna bring it to you either if you don't want to pay that's ridiculous so hopefully we didn't just shoot ourselves in the foot and not get any more offers but I really don't want to go you know I just don't want to go out of the zone that's all I got to say so, all right, well, we're going to go get this one dropped off, and hopefully we will get Let's another one. South Washington Street. And let me know what your Stop thoughts are lines. on those the 16 and 22 Washington mile Street. offers. Hey, guys, we made it to 730, and we are about to go drop off some pizzas. It has been crazy. It's been non-stop. The, the last few orders haven't been very big payout, but that's okay. We're adding In to the mile, total to the slowly but surely. It's just a little crazy. At least the traffic's finally it's slowing down. That's a plus. Talked to my mom today talked to my son today that I'm going with tomorrow to take the truck so we will go early in the morning get it dropped off get back so we can hustle tomorrow because Walmart has some kind of incentive
incentive over, like I said, over the Easter. And the next traffic lights. I don't like. remember. It's like 10, 15, and 21. So I think it's 45, 55, maybe 60 or something. I don't remember. I'll have to look. So I don't know. We're going to try to get some Walmart Spark done. Maybe we can get at least an extra 45. At the traffic lights. Turn left onto South That's what I'm hoping for. Avenue. But we'll see. Because that just means that we will be doing Spark tomorrow when we get back into town. And then we'll do Spark um, Saturday and some Sunday. So that hopefully we can complete maybe two thirds of it. So we'll see. I will, I'll look it up. And I will let you know, because I tried to look it up while I go, and it wouldn't let me. It was being a pain. Oh, here we go. So, it's, oh, 15, 4, 45. 18, for 55. And 21, for 85. Western Street. So, I don't know that we can get the 21. But we might be able to get um, 15 for sure. I'm pretty sure we can do that. And possibly 18. That's pushing it. Because 21 in three days is seven hours worth of work. At least seven hours worth of work. And that's if you only get one order an hour. Which that's how their system works typically is that you can only get um, uh, let's see this is lovely I love these people that send me messages and I'm like really trying to figure this out Thought it was a business. This is a house. At the next They've tried lines, removing. Right. Note about leave with the receptionist. It's on the corner. Okay, we got it. Hey guys, I just wanted y'all to see some of these houses in this area. It's crazy. So it's an older neighborhood. And it is. At the stop sign, turn right onto Southwest Twenty Eighth Avenue. Then the destination is on your Some right. Of these houses are just insane. today too. to die and we gotta go pick up something else okay i did not change the battery so you may i don't know how long it'll last but i wanted you to see some of these houses that we passed on the way
half a mile, turn right onto Canyon Drive. It's 8.55 and we are about to go deliver some seafood of some sort. So, it's a whole, they did not tip worth a hooey because believe me, this food was 20 or $30 and my payout's like 5.83. Really? If you can afford to buy food from this place, you can afford to tip. But that's the way it goes. Then we've already got another add-on order, which is like, I don't know how much. It wasn't very much either. It was like $9 and something. In two miles, so, turn right onto South Georgia Street. That's okay. We're just going to keep the wheels moving. And we'll see how much we end up making by the end of the day. Or by the time we go home. I mean, it's an, almost 9 o'clock. So, and it is Thursday. So, we'll see. But I may go home and try to pack a few things. I mean, there are certain things I can pack between now and when we leave on Wednesday. So we may just do that. Get a few things done, take a shower, and get ready so we can go take the truck tomorrow. Cause that's gonna be, that's a five hour driving time trip. And really for me it's more because I gotta go to my kiddos. So, but that's okay. We'll get this done and get this next order and we'll just go and as long as we're getting orders, we'll just keep going. So we will see you after a bit and we may do a little clip on the way home tonight and then I will do the... I'll give you the update from yesterday because I forgot and I'm gonna do the upload the video from yesterday I'll get it uploaded and then I'll just put it at the end of the video the numbers but I will record the numbers from yesterday and for today that way you'll have all the information that I have so I will see you soon Hello, it is 9.57. There is on Grubhub one little spot that's warm. So I think we're going to call it a night. We will head home, looks like. And we will go over the numbers. That last one, so the, apparently there's no one out here hardly because I was all the way across town. They sent me back over here. And I mean, I knew it was a crappy payout because of where I was to where I had to go to where I had to bring the food. So, yeah, I wasn't happy. But we took it anyway. These people spent probably a good $60 on this food and tipped me $2. $2. Cheap ass. But, okay. That's alright. I'll take your $2 and add it to my other dollars that I've got made today. So... But we'll get home and I will go over the numbers and we'll try to get another video uploaded from what we did yesterday. So I will see you back at home. Hey guys. Well, we made it home. 
so much fun so we were gone i don't know it was it says on my driving app it shows like 14 hours so i mean we took probably an hour break so we'll see okay so yesterday we started with 2742 that's 2742 dollars we made 118, so then we ended up with 2624. And today we ended up with we made $196. So pretty close to 200. So we end up with 2428. And that's where we'll start tomorrow. And I'm having problems seeing. Yeah, like I can't. I am I need you like super far away for me to be able to see what i'm looking at in the camera but that's okay so tomorrow we will see i don't know what we will get done it depends on what time i get back into town from dropping the truck off so once again i want to thank everyone for subscribing liking and sharing my videos and i would love to hear from you so for those that watch to the end Let's see some cake. I love some cake. Been on this diet and I really want some cake. So show me some love and put some cake in the comments.